Welcome, 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 welcome to the big blue house. The big blue house. I don't know why I did that. I don't know. What am I, like a a show a show girl today? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put you down here, though. Okay? <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome. It's going to be raw love. It's going to be for my Leos. Guys, I have, um, uh, Spirit definitely guided me to, to go in the direction of how I'm doing raw loves this week. Okay? Um, so no particular order to, for me all right this is this is the divine's order on raw love and how it's it's going okay so this is going to be leo it's that one card at the end i'm going to pull that i i never want to know okay um and you got two right there it was risk and um one more but uh what the hecky becky all right that was self-worth so i'm going to look away I'm going to look away why one gets pulled for Leo. One. One card for Leo, please. Raw love, please. One. One card for Leo. One card for Leo. Yay, I didn't see it. Okay. So, I'll we'll read that at the end. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull a couple of these. I hope my lions are doing good. I just saw one, two, three, you know. So, um... Moving on up, okay? Moving on up. All right, Leos, Leos, Leos. I hope you're roaring. I hope you're roaring. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups and Devil's Play. They were, they were both reversed. I always consider them when they come out reversed, okay? Um, right now, this is telling me you're not happy. You're not having enough fun in your life right now, okay? Um, <sighs> me no likey. But I, I can feel it's going to turn, okay? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do we got here? Flirt and keep an open mind. All right. So, you know, this is what I'm saying. Like, it, it's time to find that spark. Like, what's going on with my Leos right now? Like, what are you, a lazy-ass lion? It's like I feel it now, and I don't like that. Okay, don't, don't do that. Okay, um, I need you to get your spark. I need you to get your spark back. Okay. We have a codependency um, is affecting your life right now. So to me, this is saying, you know, it's definitely looking in the past. Whatever you've let go of, or whatever you're battling right now. Okay. Um, whether it's a family member. I, a child, I don't know if you're re relying on a child because that just came to me. Um, oh, man, that's a lot. I don't want them, but I'm going to take that one. Religious factors. All right, releasing your energy. Okay, Leos, Leos, Leos. Oh, you're not with this person right now, okay? Um, trust and true love at the bottom of the deck is safe. You don't feel safe when it comes to something, this love or, or whatever direction you're going in. Um, but you need to trust some type of scenario. The universe is saying you need to trust. All right, you have true love here. You have something. This is heavy. I think you just let go of something or you know you have to let go of something, you know, it is the energy, unfortunately, which makes it seem a lot harder to battle, okay? But in all reality, it won't be in the long run. You need to, I don't know if there's a third party, something unjustified, um, but I'm telling you right now, you need to work with this energy. You need to release any icky energy. I feel like you definitely have new love coming, okay? I feel like you're, you're working on yourself, I don't, I don't see it, but I feel it. Um, have trust that you can surmount. What is that word? Surmount? What is that word? Surmounting? You're getting there. <clears throat> um, tell me about codependency. Leo, Leo, Leo. Um, the Mother of Cups. See, I see. I don't know if the mom. Damn. Son of Swords. I knew it. I felt a mom being codependent with their child right now. This is bizarre. 
So it looks like this codependency issue is a parent either trying to control a situation or is very dependent on their child to bring them places, cook for them, pay their bills. It's something, okay? It's Or to maybe not even pay the bills, but to manage the bills to... I just feel like this child parents the mother. Like the roles are a little reversed. But I feel like that's coming to the end, but not in a bad way. Okay? And, and it's healing. Something is being healed. Tell me about religious factors. Oh, I didn't even start up top. Tell me about religious factors. There's some cultural differences here. We have the two, yeah, see the two of cups and the eight. The eight of uh, cups. Um, I mean the five of, six of, what the hecky becky. This is six of pence, okay? So it, there's some type of broken connection here, okay? Um, but it's promises coming back around. And this has to do with somebody's religion, somebody's faith, somebody's culture, clear as day, okay? Um and you are unhappy. You're not having enough fun in your life right now. Okay. Something was not going in your direction. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Because this was sorrow. This was reversed. Okay. Like you lost passion for life again. Um, tell me about passion. Ten of Cups. Sorry. Ten of Cups. Yeah. See the, the Ten of Swords. But this is... You're trying to process something. You're not quite there, but you're in the midst of processing. So it's the end of this situation. You need to release and let go, okay? You need to let go of, of somebody. If this is not a parent, this is a past lover or a current lover that looks like needs to be released, you're harboring something. Tell me about devil's play. When devil plays comes out reverse, you're not having enough fun in your life. Yeah, see the sun reverse. Like something's going on, you know, the, there's no, there's no, happy there's no clarity there's no no life no one's breathing life into this situation right now tell me about release your ex this is you letting go okay battling whether or not to release something stop battling with this energy this energy is negative this is clingy let go stop clinging okay this is very clingy energy tell me about separation this is you're not even talking to this person or with them right now you know four of cups so i don't know Oh, man, this this means that you feel like you missed an opportunity. But it's like something was sneaky, whether it was you or this other person. So either you feel like, you know what, you're like, F it, this person missed an opportunity, I'm out. Or it's the other way around where you're like, you left something, something went down, you feel like it was a missed opportunity. It's something like that. Tell me about trust. You would know your scenario. I mean, it's it's so black and white that you would know, okay? Um, he has the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, both at the bottom of the deck reversed. Um, you don't trust moving forward right now. Um, I don't think you have enough clarity in a situation. To me, it's it's not even self-love. I feel like you you have that. It's it's something to do with the past. I don't even think it's the same person, to be honest with you. But the universe is asking you to trust. This was like sidewards. Um Tell me about the Ace of Cups. They're asking you to trust a situation. It looks like there's true love here. There, there's Whether this mother hen has to let somebody go, a child, maybe this mother doesn't agree with who, whom they have feelings for. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's the Seven of Swords reversed. It's the Sly Fox. All right, I, I, I felt something here. Um, so whatever whomsoever's trust was broken somebody's come on back around to express something there is love here there's true love here three of cups at the bottom of the deck tell me about true love um so this can either this is we got two situations okay to me this is straight up family over here um, the father of swords, all right, so true love, um, s s whoa, okay, so this is the king of swords reverse, this is, you love somebody that you're not even communicating with, but I think it has to do with a family member, 
or a one of your past lovers because we have two different energies here we have a past energy and a current energy that you're not even talking to but you're thinking about like your your energy field is with this current person you're not happy with your situation right now there is conflict I don't really see competition but I see conflict see we have the a stat at the bottom of the deck all right but this a new stat but it's reversed so you could have made a foolish decision or you're just not ready to make that decision and remember we the risk card came out and the risk card is a fool okay taking that the new journey um i, I really feel like this is this codependency is parental whether it's a baby mama baby daddy okay um but I don't, I feel like this is clear cut that I really don't need to go any further. And I did just place this upright, which is bizarre because I, I did. Okay. And I got the goosebumps. So there's a reason for that because that starts here. That it's like the opportunity is, is, is here. You know, the nine of pens, we just have a little lack of, um, lack of self-esteem and the self-worth card came out too. Okay. So I don't really need to dig into this. It's, it's clear as day. You're going to know exactly what this is about. So we have lust okay um be careful this doesn't turn into something more i don't really see i don't really see that so this is a special message okay um so it says my dear one this symbol of lust is before you beware that things come within certain time and certain energies you may be consumed in it okay so this is consuming energy um, and I think because there is still this, there's something, um, what did I use the word? Surmounting, surmounting, sur what did I use? What does that word mean? Coming to a head or something like that, right? It's like breaking through, coming to a resolution type thing. You might want to watch Aquarian energy. Um, but I think that's the word I used. Um, so anywho, there's a fine balance between desire, what is pure and obsessive, that arises in, with the thrill of danger. Be careful that your desire remains good and that your wanting doesn't hurt somebody else or another. It is best that you move cautiously or forward. If you're asking about a relationship, you may be de de developing an obsessive fever that would take long to recover from. Ask yourself, what is the nature of this desire? Why do you want it so badly? Beware, there's always a hidden agenda with lust. What is yours? Here's a situation, too. I feel like... I feel like this energy right here is this codependent energy. And I really feel this as parental. So I really feel like this parental energy is a little, it's controlling but not controlling, guys, because it's the mother of cups. So she's coming from a pure heart, but but it's not beneficial for their child. So she has to learn to release, but it's affecting their child if that's the case, okay? Because um, I'm not feeling, but then that would mean like she has an obsession with her child, telling them what to do, how to do things. You know what I'm saying? Like a fiery nature, but like, not being used in the right way right now like because it's it's Taurus energy so it's not like oh I'm obsessed with my child it, but it's like it's not controlling like that I hope you guys can understand tell me about lust it's just they want the best all right it's it's the fool upright okay it's it's taking a risk so this child I think needs to take a risk to separate yep see look at judgment Somebody has to separate from certain energy over here, and it's not going to be easy. This, to me, is not obsession. This is not sexual. I don't feel sexual at all, okay? I truly feel this is a baby mama, daddy, or a parent, somebody who raised a child. And I'm truly feeling somebody who raised a child is just having a hard time letting their child go out into the world, okay? Um... I, I truly feel that, that that is for that situation, that scenario. So I'm going to pull you a moon card. This is clear as day. I'm telling you, like, I know it might seem complicated to some people, but 
my body, my my whole body is telling me that you guys understand this to a T. There's no, there's no gray area here, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, it, it's time to give rather than take. This is a codependency thing. This is this is breakaway energy too, my little Leos. All right. Um, It's time to give rather than take. When this card comes up, it's time for you to take stock of the situation. Where are you in your life? Where do you want to go? This new moon energy that's coming and suggests you need to restart. It suggests you start, you know, coming up with clever ideas, simple, all right, but organized. It, it's it's being strong. It's a strong aspect in your life right now that, you know, it suggests that your health is on its way up too. So if you're having poor health right now, it's going to get better, all right? You need to start eating a little more cleaner. Um, try alternative therapies to add to your routine. However, if you've been feeling that a situation has blocked you at the moment, it could be that you're overanalyzing things too much and being too critical at this time. Please think less of this situation or someone that you care for. That Okay, not think less. That wouldn't make sense. Hold on. It could be that you're overanalyzing things or being too critical. It's time you ask less. less. It's time you ask less of someone and what they do for you and think more about what others can what you can do for others see what I'm saying there's something going on here this energy over here needs to release and I really think it's parental um, but it would, any of your situations okay and somebody's health might not be that great but they're saying that's because your energy is low if you if you turn that Sun around you're gonna be awesome sauce okay but you have to get yourself out of that mental state whoever this sections for Okay, it also says, you know, um, recommit to healthy morning and evening routines because that means we get off track, okay? Um, be be grateful. You know, there's great improvements coming. You just don't see them right now, okay? It says pay attention to detail even if, if it's a small success without, without being too controlling. See the service in others too and love more and money will flow. So stop stressing out over material things, please. This person you ask about is reliable, all right? So somebody's questioning somebody's reliability, and I think that's stopping this too, okay? So this is, I really feel like this is family, guys, all right? Um, but you got to make your, that own judgment call, okay? That's, that's on you guys, my little Leos, to release, let go, walk your own path. All right, um, it also is a sign of health, health okay, because it's, it's the Virgo card, but... Um, Harvest is coming. Things are going to be go good. You just need to take care of yourself, okay? So, again, like I said, I really truly feel like this is very clear cut for somebody. So, it's it's time to have happiness return in your, in your life, okay? There's a beautiful connection here. And I, I really feel like there's a parental energy stopping it because of their, they're not releasing, okay? But it's, it's, it's generational. You know, it needs to be broken, because the one that wants to go towards love and it's true love it, it's it's like the energy is having a hard time breaking away from this energy that I truly feel is parental okay so this person which is probably my Leo whether the Leo's are, whether the parents are Leo or you're the Leo you know what I'm saying you need to make your own judgment call and trust this situation and go towards true love all right if you don't you're gonna self-sabotage your own emotional state okay it's time to turn this father of swords upright it, it truly is time to have this conversation i really truly feel like you guys might be dealing with aquarius because spirits having me go in a certain order and they had lovers at the bottom of the deck and judgment they're having me go in an order which is bizarre okay um so these are important this week to pay attention to um i really feel like this father of swords does not need to worry Tell me about the Father of Swords, because it's sitting on true love. 
Okay, so it's just going towards it. Yeah, see the Eight of Pence? It's go rebuild. It's life's mysterious webs. And I, I just labeled the Aquarius video that as well. Okay, go towards the unknown. Go, go build from the ground up again. Go be this fool. It's whatever energy this is, let it go. Because the fool is literally going in this direction. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is true love for somebody. Okay. And it looks like there's a, a family situation that um, is surmounting, surmounting. What, what is that word I'm trying to say? I, I know it seems so crazy. Like, court, you don't know that word. I feel like it means like it's coming to an head. What does the word sur surmounting mean? According to dictionary.com. Oh, what does the word surmounting mean? I feel like I'm not Here's even saying it right. Surmounting? Surmounting? Okay, so yeah, it's overcoming something. Surmount, surmounting. It's just my accent. It won't allow me to say that, right? <laughs> Don't you guys just love me? Oh, frig man. Early Monday morning. So whatever this is, it's coming to a head too. It's go watch Aquarius. I love you guys so much. Have a fantastic day. Okay. Uh, take care of you. Go after true love, please. Bye guys.